People are saying that Marco Rubio laughed at the audience suggested idea that Hillary Clinton be waterboarded, but we don't want to jump to any conclusions here. That's a pretty uh it's a pretty harsh thing to say about him. So why don't we watch the video evidence and see if there's any uh, validity to it? Oh, and by the way, and by the way, this is a message to the Cuban government and anyone who's listening, we're keeping Guantanamo forever. Okay? We're keeping it forever. It's a good base. I didn't I don't want to know what he said. Please don't, because then whatever what the press is here, I didn't even hear what they I didn't know what they said. I know it wasn't a bad word. Oh, the most important thing is it wasn't not the a bad P word. word, don't worry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why did you laugh if you didn't hear what he said? Okay, so he's a typical politician, he's lying, but I, I want to pardon him. Are you going to pardon? Uh, oh, I was actually thinking maybe we should do Supreme Court, but now I'm thinking maybe it wasn't necessary. Uh, yeah, look, everybody's saying that was there, that it was easy to tell what the guy said. Mm -hmm. But I'm listening to the audio, and it didn't seem particularly easy there. Like, mm -hmm. it, you could have misinterpreted it. And the thing is, like, somebody yells something out, you either, you could laugh because it's a disruption and that's how you respond to it. It's funny. Or it could be that you want to do that sort of sleazy politician, like, I can tell they're making a joke, so I'm just going to laugh as if I understood yeah, what it was. That's true, too, yep. So I would lean towards possibly pardoning him. Uh, but I, I, I'm going to go further, and, and I don't know if I'm a bad person here, but even if he heard uh, the person, he's not responsible for what they said. Yes, you know, especially in a situation where you have like people lying about whether President Obama is a Muslim or not, because mm -hmm. you have a little bit more incumbent upon you to say, hey, wait a minute, now he's not a Muslim, but don't get me wrong, I hate him, blah, 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 yeah. right? Uh, in this case, some idiot makes a joke about waterboarding Hillary. Yeah. You'd say he doesn't correct them, I don't really care. The, the one thing, I, I am still pardoning him, I don't pardon the guy who said it because to me it didn't sound like he was making a joke. It sounded like he just yelled waterboard Hillary. No, I know, I know. <laughs> they, I mean, I, I assume, I hope they're joking, but <laughs> like, given the opportunity, might they? But I don't think that that was a serious <laughs> political statement, you don't right? Think so? No. Okay. And, and so, and, in, and by the way, if he'd said waterboard Bernie, then he would be guilty. Kidding. You would know, of course. It's the same thing. It's just a silly thing somebody in the audience said. Yeah. I I'm doing it unilaterally. I pardon him. That's probably fair. Uh, but but just for context's sake, because uh, Hillary was involved, Hillary had a situation sort of like this uh, earlier in the campaign before certain people dropped out. And so why don't we play that video to remind everybody? I worked for Hewlett Packard when Kali Fiorina was CEO. <laughs> I get called in with a bunch of other engineers. My division's making money. I get laid off. There's 20,000 of us. We get laid off, right? She told us it was for cost cutting. A couple of months after we got laid off, 20,000 people, she bought two jets to fly executives around the country instead of using commercial aircraft. And she says she's a great CEO. Every time I see her on TV, I want to reach through and strangle her. <laughs> You know, I, I know that doesn't sound very nice, but... And I, can... I wouldn't mess with you. <laughs> See, yeah, I pardon her, too. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, I pardon her, and I think he was making a joke. Like, well, of course he's making a joke, and, and of course in that context, like, I'm super frustrated because she fired me, yeah. and, like, it makes me... Now, again, what would have been ideal is if Hillary Clinton had said... Now let's not no, do yeah. that, right? Yeah. Let's not go that far. And it would have been ideal if Rubio had said, "Now come on, now take it easy a little yeah. bit, right?" Um, now remember, waterboarding's just for Muslims. Exactly. <laughs> Don't get carried away. And right? then his programming went to remind them Trump said a naughty word, and that's why he said at least it wasn't a bad word. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So pardons all around then. Yes. Okay. So, but the reason we, we brought this up is uh, we were speculating during the production meeting that uh, politicians do have an opportunity at, from time to time. Uh, like, I don't know if you've seen Deadpool, but they bring this up, that you have four or five opportunities in your, uh, your hero career. Politicians have a version like that, where John McCain got asked the question about, or he said he's a Muslim, and he corrected him. He did the right thing. Uh, then you had Trump, who uh, the, the guy came up, and this was back before Trump, we knew how crazy he was, and said, when are we going to take care of them Muslims? And Trump says, you know, it's something we're looking into, we're going to do something about them. And now we know what he wants to do is basically ban them from the country. He failed that test, but you don't think this rises to that level? No, no, because that's a specific Damn. policy thing, and he's and that guy was not kidding. He, okay. he was absolutely positively yeah. saying, let's do something about the Muslims. And Trump was not kidding either. He said, yeah, yeah, we should take care yeah. of those Muslims. I mean, that is as hardcore a policy issue as there is. 
and and a despicable one, yeah. right? Okay. So whereas these guys are just throwing out random comments, they they yeah. don't they don't. Uh, really I would I would check the waterboard guy. I think there's some chance he has a dungeon in his house, but <laughs> but we'll, that we'll might be for that other reasons and it might require a different kind of pardon.